everyone welcome back to my channel today you guys we are having i know everyone and their mom has done it but the bts meal from mcdonald's and i have to tell you i don't know how i feel about these meals that mcdonald's is doing these like collabs with because when travis scott and bts like these are just the same meals that they do every single day they're just attaching like a celebrity name to them um so i'm kind of I don't know i don't love the idea of it but i also get the idea of it i also heard a lot of people were upset because like when they would order the meal they would not put the sauce in the bag or they just didn't have like the marketing or like there's no special like bag for the meal it's literally a 10 piece chicken nugget and a fry and then you get two exclusive sauces which the first one is like the sweet chili sauce and then I guess the second one is like the, what is it called? Cajun or something. Yeah, Cajun sauce. I got barbecue sauce as well. Um, it comes with a large fry. And then I also ordered a McDouble. And I have, it comes with a Coke, but I got a Diet Coke. But I'm excited to try it nonetheless. So let's go ahead and open the sauces. So this is the sweet chili sauce and honestly i am kind of excited to try the sauces because i know all of the people that i watch overseas like they have amazing different sauces over there than we have and so i'm so excited to try that's the oh that smells like i was watching um eat with karen and she was saying that they were saying like he said she said she said it's like telephone no um Karen was saying that people were saying <laughs> that this was like Chick-fil-A sauce, but a little spicier. And when I just smelled it right now, it literally smelled like Chick-fil-A sauce. We'll just open the barbecue sauce as well. And then a 10 piece chicken nugget. Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of a cute setup. Okay, I want to fry. Mm. Do you need more salt? Mm. I love McDonald's fries. <laughs> I still have this thing, you guys. It's so funny. All right, and then I have notes on the side. I've been so good with like writing my notes down. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is BTS. So we have the meal, right? But I'm confused though. Like I know this is a big and a very well-known brand, so maybe I'm ignorant or unaware. Like why are they popular here? I don't understand like why did we I don't why did we get this because I was like okay I need to know who these people are I was like googling most of their songs are in Korean so what makes the American culture like interested because I know that they don't know I mean if you don't even know what they're saying when you're getting your nails done how do you know what they're saying in these songs anyways is that like ignorant of me I'm just curious Why are we all, why is everyone running out for the meal? Like, how do y'all know them? There was one song that I Googled that, that cowboy song by, um, I don't know his name. What's his name? Up to, you know what I'm talking about. They did like a collaboration song with him that, that you know what I, I don't keep up with music anymore. But the song that was the song that beat Justin Bieber's Desperado in the top whatever. Cowboy. You guys know what I'm talking about? Okay. Cheeseburger. 
No pickles. If you go to McDonald's, don't get pickles. I don't like the pickles there. Mm. I haven't eaten all day, you guys. This is delicious. Actually, this isn't a double cheeseburger. This is a McDouble. I don't know what the difference is. A double cheeseburger and a McDouble. If you know, put it in the comments down below. And then I was also looking up BTS online. And there's literally, at least in the picture, unless they weren't all a part of the band, there's like 400 of them. And by 400, I mean there's like seven or eight members in that group. Is that true? That's a lot of people. Oh, that's a lot of people. Mm. Mm. The fries are very crispy. Just looks like a double cheeseburger to me. But it is so good. Okay. One thing that I wanted to talk about. And my best friend got me the most beautiful crystal set because I've really been getting into crystals a lot lately. And like I have a rose quartz. But she is so sweet and she was so generous and she got me this kit and it came with all these crystals it's kind of like a crystal starter kit literally has every crystal you need to get started and they're so beautiful and like i want to start um meditating with them But for me, it just means so much more because like crystal, like, you know, when you get a gift from someone, like they're nice, but I feel like with the crystals, I'll have those forever. And crystals are all about energy and like you either pick the ones out that you want or and because they were from online, I know that she didn't like go and hand pick them, but I know that they came with love. And so for me. I don't know what that was. So for me, it just made me so happy, you guys. Like, so I set them out today, and I feel like I'm like sensitive to crystals because I was googling. And I remember when I busted out my rose quartz that I have, like my big one. I was just very like emotional. Well, when I took these out today and I put them on my coffee table. You can't see them. I feel like I was emotional today. Like, all of the emotions were heightened. Like, I was, like, super happy. I was super sad. I was super, like, not any one way, but I felt like everything was amplified. Like, if I was watching a commercial, I felt it. Or I felt like who I was talking to. It was so cool. I'm not, like, making this shit up. Like, I'm, like such a skeptic and I also am very like um mm, what's the word
I wanted to finish the burger first. It's not jaded, but like, what is a word that I'm looking for? I've had like 20 white claws, by the way. I feel like the word that I want to say starts with an M. Help me out here. Anyways. I'm just so grateful for her and that she gifted me those and like genuinely like I just felt like the love when I got those crystals. Okay, next thing that I wanted to talk about mm. is I don't like TV shows. I told you guys I was canceling cable, but I have like Amazon Prime, Netflix, Disney Plus, like all this streaming. I don't even like TV shows on them. Like I really just like documentaries and movies and things like that well on amazon prime i started watching this one show called panic and i love it it's so good it's so good um it's kind of based off of like these high school students which one makes me want to be like 17 again i don't want to like talk about the show because I don't want to ruin anything and it's new. But it's a really good, like, I like those kind of shows that incorporate, like, the teens and the parents and they both have their own storylines. And then... This show particularly, it's very, like, I almost feel like it's, like, Like, it's not dark, but it's not light. Like, there's definitely some stuff that goes on in the show, like, with the people, the characters. But it's really good. You guys should check it out. It's called Panic, and it's on Amazon Prime. Mm. But, like, I'm so drunk. I haven't even had a nugget yet. Okay, let's do the big reveal. What else is on my list? I'm gonna try the sweet chili sauce first. Let's smell it. It doesn't have a smell. <clears throat> When I went to go pick this up, because I specifically remember the debacle last time, it was like I'm picking this up myself. Even though the DoorDash credited to my DoorDash, I still needed to pick this up because I didn't want to risk not getting the sauces. And even when I went, I was like, are the sauces in the bag? And the girl was like, yeah. She probably thought it was like a crazy BTS fan. But I'm like, girl, I just want to make sure the sauce is in there so I can do this damn video. Okay. This is the sweet chili sauce. I am curious though, is this like a staple sauce overseas? Or is this just like an exclusive one to them? Mm, it's spicy. Mm. Like it's tolerable, but Ooh. The kick is definitely at the front end. Oh my gosh. I don't know that I would pick that one. So when you first bite it, it tastes like... Have you guys had the sweet chili sauce before? 
<laughs> That's what this is called. Duh. So it comes in like this jar. No. Garlic chili. Garlic chili sauce. Like if you go to the Asian restaurants and then they have like the little different things on the table, that's what that tastes like. I know that that's very vague, but that's what it tastes like. Let's try the Cajun one. Okay. I'm gonna taste it. taste anything for that. I feel like it's just yellow. Now I feel a little kick. Mm -mm. I don't smell anything anymore. It's weird. Okay, now I feel it. So with this one, it's on the back end. So the sweet chili sauce, when you first bite it, it hits you on the front end. This one doesn't hit until the back end. I'm not a big fan of either, to be honest. Let's try this one again. If you like spicy food, you will like that. I don't, so I'm not a, like, I'm not, I would. <laughs> Spit it out. I would not personally order that if it was an option. I ain't with you. Mm. I wish I had another burger. To go pick this up, there was this guy. I'm like, I was in the parking lot at McDonald's. I'm like, way in the yonder, there's like a grocery store. So this guy had groceries, which is fine. Like, He probably lived nearby, so he walked to go get his groceries, because when he walked by, he had, like, three grocery bags in his hand. But when he walked, like, as he was walking past, and he passed my car, and he was, like, looking at me the whole time. And then he turned around. <laughs> he turned around and started walking backwards. And was just like staring at me, walking backwards with his groceries. So I was like staring back too because I'm like, what is he looking at? And then even I like was like looking out of my car window, like, what is he looking at? Is he like a UFO or something? But he was literally turned around and was walking backwards. <laughs> like looking. I'm like, that's so weird. I had literally just come from the gym at that point, but so weird. People have the weirdest behaviors. Okay, a couple of things. I know why 
don't like the sauce. I keep dipping into it because it's like the point of the video. It's not horrible. If you like spicy sauce, you'll like it. But when I go to McDonald's, I don't want McDonald's. And that sauce tastes like Chinese food. So it's like throwing me off. Yeah. Like, I don't want, like, that tastes like Chinese food. This one, you just don't taste it. And then at the end. You get some heat. curious if these are sauces that they actually buy what in like Korea that they like and then my other thing is, is like it's like seven or eight people in that band do they all eat the same meal I don't know I have a lot of questions oh and the other thing I was gonna say is I'm not even a huge fan of sauce so, it's a lot of sauce that you're getting out of me right now. Taylor Swift collaboration or something. Like these people that McDonald's has done, like I know that they're like well known and again I might be ignorant. But in my bubble, I feel like I'm pretty up to speed. But these collaborations aren't very like who I would have thought that McDonald's would partner with. Also want to be able to do it. Like it couldn't just be like Kanye West or I mean he might need it because I heard he was bankrupt but Oh, 
I was just thinking about different collaborations for different food industries. And it made me laugh. I'm like, who would do, who would be like this collaboration for what brand? I would name a couple of what just popped in my head, but <laughs> I was like, no. You guys are probably thinking it was so weird. Well, that's the kind of stuff that I think about. Mm. Those sauces have made my lips kind of burn. Do you guys remember how Kim Kardashian used to be Paris Hilton's, like, assistant? Well, I saw this video where Paris actually went to Kim's house. And Kim was like, I called you. And you could still tell that Paris was the alpha dog. Because Paris was like, oh, I have, like, five phones. And the face that Kim made was like, oh, I guess I don't have that number. <laughs> I'm done with this one because I feel like if I keep eating this um, sweet chili, my stomach's going to hurt. Okay, you guys, I'm sweating because these were really hot. I'm a wimp to spice, so if you like spice, they probably won't be that spicy to you, but I just can't. So, like, I already know my cheeks are sweating, and, like, I'm, like, sweating. Um, the flavor was good, but it's, for me personally, the flavor in the sauce isn't good enough to want to take the heat. Like, for me to want to take the heat of something, I really have to like the flavor, like those black shin ramen noodles um anyways would i run out and get the bts meal probably not i could get chicken nuggets any other time throughout the year is it nice to try the different sauces yes but what i think they should do is they should bring sauces from like remember how mcdonald's did that international menu they should do like the international sauces because I know that they have a lot of really good sauces overseas and like different ones to try. Even though I'm not a saucy person, I would still like to try them. Um, but that's kind of all I've got for you guys. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.